And that's the uh, Turo Manifold after I welded everything together. I just simply used the uh, flange from you know, uh, stock 22R. Well, not stock as obviously this one's aftermarket, but I uh, got some Schedule 40 piping like I said in the last video, and I just simply welded. I welded these two in, I just cut those. I cut these two right here, I cut these two. To make it fit into the pipe, so. As you can see, that is a finished header. Almost finished, just gotta cut a hole for the plate. So once I cut a hole for the plate to sit into, cut a hole somewhere for the plate to sit into. Then, once the plate's on, I shall mount my Garrett T3. And I'll mount something kind of like like that once the plate's on, you know. It'll look all nice and cool. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the header for my 22R. Made out of uh, some cheap-ass pipe, metal shop, and a flange. So, you know, it's not that hard to make these yourself. You just got to have some... I don't know, motivation to do it. My motivation is because I just want to build a really kick-ass truck. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the stuff's pretty simple. Just a uh, cheap-ass little little tiny 110 meg flux core and your shield. Or I guess I should say dual shield. Um, but, yeah... Um, stay tuned, I'll uh, cut the hole in this and uh, get that plate welded on and uh, get the turbo mounted, get the whole thing set up onto the motor and then start running my exhaust, the oil and coolant lines and intake and mounting the uh, the side mount intercooler which I have right there and uh, yeah, all this came out of a Saab, uh, 96 or 95 or something, Saab 900, some kind of Saab with a turbo from Big and Bull. But uh, stay tuned.